Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program with me, Nihai Hobo. So here we go, Beta 3, and uh, just as a very quick catch up if this is the first time you're joining us. Um, I spam the spacebar, I stranded our three first astronauts in space on a uh, orbital path around Kerbin. We're going up to rescue them and that's what this is at the top. Um, I know this is very top heavy, I'm not sure if this is going to fly particularly well, but damn it, we're all going to try. Uh, Failure is most definitely an option. Okay, so without further ado, throttle up. Three, two, one, lift off. No. Three, two, one, lift off for the second time of asking. Okay, so it's okay. It's holding its path reasonably well. And it's picking up speed. It's not the world's quickest thing, but it never was never really designed to be a quick rocket. It's just designed to try and get there. So the idea is then what we're going to do is get this up into orbit and put it on the same orbital, uh, orbital path as the... Ooh, tip it over a touch here. That doesn't look good. Ooh, that's not good. Right, we throttle down and this looks like a, a launch aborted. Okay, hopefully we can just get rid of these uh, solid fuel burners before plummeting back into the earth. We're still going up, which is uh, good news, but this is, we're, we're finished with this. This one's done. Um, so, uh, yeah, sorry, as I was saying, um, put the gimbling engine in there as well to try and help steady it a bit more. That's good. Okay, so now we'll throttle down and uh, we'll just start blowing through these stages and get the chutes out. So, at least we uh, managed to uh, successfully save Nedloff, Nedloff, Anbin, and Dunmund. So, at least they can come back safely. Um, so, yeah, so as we're saying, then, as uh, we just plummet back to the Earth here, um, sorry, back to Kerbin, uh, want to get onto a, the same orbital, orbital pattern as Alpha 1, and then at either one of the points I'm going to come in a little bit lower and eventually that slowing down at that point or speeding up will allow us to intercept um, um, Alpha 1's module. It's probably going to take a long time, I'll probably wind up doing it off camera but uh, and then we're going to catch them and slowly start to slow down, allow them to re-enter re the atmosphere and then bring the, uh, the rescue vehicle back down again. So luckily at the moment there is no oxygen and energy levels so they can stay up there pretty much indefinitely uh, for the time being. So, But um, yeah, As I said, I'd like to get them back down before the rules of uh, season two that I, uh, I said in the last video kick in. Um, and I know that they're the, the team are working night and day to get uh, a new well, a new update out for it. So that's uh, that's them landed. So we're going to go back to the space centre. Now, so what happened there then was the, uh, the ro one of the uh, lots of rockets fell off down here. I'm going to go ahead and assume that what's happened is these were walking... Now, these were walking in the first place. Uh, if you watch one of the even earlier videos these have a tendency to sort of sway from side to side because of, I assume, the amount of power and um, you know, these strengtheners then not being quite in the same place. So we're going to put some to go through the centre and try and make it a bit more rigid. So we're going to go here and... Here. Oh, I wish there was an undo button. That would be nice. If they could uh, give me one of those because <laughs> I'd be spamming that quite a lot. Okay, so that should hopefully make that a bit stronger, but just to be on the safe side, we'll pop another one a bit higher up. And, uh, yeah, okay. Um, we'll save that. I don't think that's a big enough change to merit a new number, so um, okay, we'll go... Oh, and we'll pop these two support structures here so that the first stage now actually does fire the damn rockets. And then that 28 stage there and then this, the radial decouplers and then the solid fuel excellent right okay 
Uh, so yeah, let's save that one and uh, hit the launch pad. And uh, so, right, we'll just get launched and then um, get the SAS on. And in three, two, one. That's more like it, right? Let's just pay a bit more attention to what goes on with these rockets at the end here. This stage here may need a little bit of looking at. I've got an idea of what I might do with this if this this one fails. Uh, but anyway, so at this particular point, depends when you watch it, but the, the, the Chinese, um, a couple of weeks ago, they launched their... Uh, they, they launched some astronauts into space. And uh, actually I think one of the astronauts was female. It came under quite a lot of stick that... You know, for doing things that was done in the 60s, in fact, actually even before that. But the other thing they came up against was, uh, of course, sending women into space, with this being the Chinese, who um, still uh, have very, very little respect for uh, the fairer sex. Um, I don't really want to get caught up on the whole um, political debate about whether or not you know, the moralities and the, the laws of China, and it's not for us to want to say, but um, I was actually quite annoyed that um, the Chinese were getting so much stick for, for it. I mean, they, as far as I know, and apart from shuttling people to and from the International Space Station, are the only ones who are still doing manned space flight. I mean, America's cut their, uh, or NASA have cut their uh, funding project. We, the UK, and I think Kazakhstan, um, send um, quite a lot of uh, shuttles to and from the space station for supplies and stuff, but they're not manned, they're, they burn upon re-entry. And there's a company called SpaceX which are working on getting to and fly. They've just successfully docked with the International Space Station uh, and re-entered. Uh, so they've brought back some experiments and, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, I think the Chinese should be given a little bit more credit than... Um, and what they're getting there. Right, so that's that stage anyway. That was a nice little rant, nicely timed. Okay, so this is my um, second stage engine here and the solid fuel stage. I'm just going to roll, start rolling over now that we're actually in orbit. And I believe that north shall be the way. In fact, we're going to hit that end there. It's a little bit late there, actually. Wound up hitting Y instead. And we'll blow them, and... Oh! So the... Oh, that engine isn't attached to that stage. Oh, alright, well... Don't know how useful those solid fuel burners actually are, then. So let's just have a quick look at the map and see where we're going. So that's building up quite nicely. Let's bring this up, and let's go for... Get hit a bit more of the horizon more than anything else. Pop! Okay, so this should start to move. Okay, so first thing I want to do is achieve an orbit. Then I'll have a look at what that orbit looks like and decide where to try and get the two to meet here. Logically, it would be better trying to get it here where it's at its lowest and we could slow or, or a bit before, maybe about here, uh, just above the South Pole, and try and slow it there so that this is the quickest bit, but then, hold on a second, no, sorry, I'll tell you an absolute lie, it would be here, because that drops there, so, but, it's, I'm not that clever to be able to work it out, and, um, so, I'm just going to leave it in the lap of the gods, we're going to pause it there for the time being, uh, but make sure you join me to uh, find out how the rest of this goes, thank you very much for uh, coming back, and uh, I will see you next time, see you again.